I'm really struggling with is that, that question and, and a number of the parents that have come to me and, and they were dealing with the idea of their children being expelled and that OPS um, had gone through that process and, and, and most of them said their child should have been expelled. But it wasn't working for them. And now there's parents that had options that said, okay, well, we can send this child to school A and pay for it. The ones that I had the toughest conversation with was the ones that didn't have those options because financially they, they could not afford that. And as I mentioned, I was I'm so impressed with what Street School is doing uh, in Omaha and they started in 1999 and what they've been working on and, and again, a smaller, smaller group of students, but approximately 90% have been expelled. Um, 90% are you know, on free or reduced lunch. Uh, and, and approximately 90% are, are graduating. But what happens to those students that are expelled and they have nowhere to go? They have no options. And we know that approximately 70% of people, the adults that are incarcerated, um, are functionally illiterate. We know children in the, the system right now, in the juvenile justice system, 80, 80 plus percent functionally illiterate. What happens to those children? What do we tell these parents? And I know Senator Wayne had experience on the, on the school board and he's had these discussions with parents of what can I do, my, this isn't working. Now, now we also know that approximately 78 plus percent of kids in, in OPS, for example, they graduate and, and they, they get a good education. Now we got 22% that didn't. Where did those people go? Where did those kids go? Well, right now in the state of Nebraska, at 1.9 million people, we have 100,000 adults that don't have a GED or high school diploma. So going back to what happens to these kids, what do we tell the parents today? And in, in street school, you're looking at African-American, about 33%, Caucasian, about 30%, Hispanic, 12%, two or more races, 24%. Um, so they're, they're working with a number of kids, um, again, that have been expelled. And Senator Wayne, could you, would you yield to a question? Senator Wayne, would you yield, please? Yes. Senator Wayne, if, if, if these kids are expelled and the, the parents come to, to us and say, what, why can't you help me? Because I, I can't afford to continue to try to uh, deal with this problem and get my, my child an education, and I can't financially afford to send them to a... Uh, a school, um, what, what do we tell them? How, how do we answer that question to that, that parent that knows this is not going to go well for my child unless I can get them an education? Uh, we tell them that they could go to their alternative school at Flanagan, but what we really tell them, and I just had this with a, a kid the other last week, one of my workers. They said, your kid doesn't have a long enough record yet to get the services that would help him get through education. So if he steals or robs something, the juvenile court will, will figure out how to help him. But until then, there's nothing. That's why the Omaha Street School has been a great alternative for all the kids that we need. Thank you, Senator Wayne. So at this point, we have children that have been expelled. Now, going back to the numbers earlier I mentioned, we have going to 18, 19 with OPS, we had 5,613 that were suspended, but 400 were expelled. Now, can they come back? Yes, yes, they have the opportunity to come back. Possibly, they go through that process, but something isn't working for them. And I'm not saying they've done everything right, and the parents that have talked to me, they were not making excuses for their, their children, they were just saying something's not working. And if unless we correct it, What's going to happen to my child? Going back to the idea that 70 plus percent of people that are incarcerated today are functionally illiterate, there was a problem at some point in their education that put them in a position and they, they made the decision. But if you thought, what built up to that? If we know that we can help children, and again, knowing that 78 percent of the graduations in OPS, are, they're, they're getting a good education. But again, that 22%. That and then going back to the, time, the people sir. that were expelled. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.